So what can traders expect around this trip? Well, Janet Yellen has emerged something of a good cop in the Biden administration's um, handling of China. Yeah. And uh, she has, uh, she's a friendly face to China because she was here nine, nine months ago. But this time, it could be a little different. Um, unlike the last time she was here when she was uh, setting the ground, you know, laying the groundwork for the Sea Biden summit uh, last November, because she will be exactly talking about the overcapacity of uh, the industries and the imports from China that is actually pouring into the European and the American market. Markets. And that's she's saying that it is actually distorting the global market. And so when we look at solar, uh, we can see that um, about 90 percent of the solar cell production comes from China. So all of these uh, prices that are dragging down the whole market is actually bad for the Chinese companies uh, because they're losing the values in exports. And so when we look at uh, the Longi Green uh, New Technology, and they are the largest uh, solar manufacturer in the world. Um, they have lost about 13% year to date, and that compared to the MSCA China, which shed about 2% during the same time, yeah. is definitely an underperformance. And when we look at some of the American companies that are trying to build factories in the US, uh, it is not looking good to them because uh, they're having a lot of these generous subsidies from the Inflation Reduction Act, which is like the signature act that um, Biden administration has. But that, again, is not really doing much for the American companies. But the Chinese companies, again, because of the falling uh, prices and right. the falling exports, they're not looking really good there. What about others? So you talked about solar. What about other sectors which may or, or, or may not experience some headwinds because of this trip? That's right. And it, it is true that they may or may not. There are some different uh, aspects and there are different opinions about this. But when we look at the uh, EVs, especially some We've seen a 1,500% rise in the EV exports uh, from China over the last three, three years. We have seen in a report, and 70% uh, of the globally sold EVs are, come from China. So even if um, the politicians and um, the automakers, executives are, you know, they're slowing the influx of these Chinese EVs into their market uh, with the stiff tariffs. Now they have 27.5% yeah. uh, for all auto uh, auto imports from China in the U.S. Uh, so the new, uh, so, so the more preferred destination is rather the European Union, which has a rather reasonable tariff for the Chinese yeah. autos. So again, this is going to be like uh, an issue that uh, cannot be ignored. And there is a ripple effect uh, through the whole market there. So. Uh, there will be continuation of these talks there. And BYD, again, when we look at it, it's also shed about 8% uh, year to date. So we will have to watch that. Batteries, um, we don't know exactly whether anti-dumping is going to be possible because um, there are some of the more European companies that do need the LFP, the cheaper version of these batteries still. So uh, some of the analysts are telling us that it could be a bit of a far-fetched idea for the batteries. We're watching all things energy.